السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته ويلكم باك ماي فريندز تو ماي يوتيوب شانل دريلينج اند ورك اوفر ذيس از عبد العزيز جبر اي ام اكريديتد انستراكتور ان اي دبليو سي اف ويل كنترول اند اي دي سي ويل شارب اولسو اي ام اكريديتد انستراكتور ان اي دي سي ماد انجينيرنج بيزك اند ادفانسد ماد سكول توداي ان شاء الله وي ويل كونتينيو اباوت ذا كويشنز ذات وي هاف ستارتد ان ذا بيزك ماد سكول اوكي We will talk about some questions you you may face in the in any interview. Uh, you have, will make, for example, in uh, any mod engineering company or even in the owner companies. Okay. So today, uh, number one, mention for the formation which has some problems in Aramco geology column, uh, and what are the types of mod used. Actually, for example, this is very important question. You and I have been asked in uh, while making interview in Aramco. Okay, it's not a big deal. Uh, Mention the question number A: Wasia and Shuaiba uh, uh, formation. You may take lost of circulation. Okay, the problem is the lost of circulation. We use emulsion mud, or now we are using a high viscous mud or high bentonite mud, and also. Uh, and if you take total loss, you can drill blind drilling and use mud cap drilling to uh, avoid any well control issue. Number B, Safania and Ahmadi. They have some mechanical shale or mechanical stuck in the shales or back off. So we use oil based mud and increase the mud weight. Uh, number C, section of the Ratawi. Ratawi is limestone or is hard limestone. So You may have a lot of differential stuck in the ratawi, so we use bridging material as a preventive action, and if we stuck, we use acid bill. Uh, gel is a very uh, hard to drill gel and sudair. You face a well control problem uh, in it because the flow is very high. Uh, it is especially it's mainly dolomite, and you you increase the mud weight. Okay, you have to increase the mud weight until you kill the well. Uh, so there is the R shale, so the, you are adding shale inhibitors for the mud. Khof, khof formation is a depleted zone, so you use bridging material like, for example, Max Bridge or HydroGuard systems for it. Okay. Number two, mention the safety procedures, okay, for mixing chemicals like caustic soda. Like caustic soda, so Number A, you have to wear all the full pro, uh, personal protective equipment during mixing. Okay, this is very important. This is very important. Number two, you have to read uh, all the documents like MSDS and CHB. Okay, uh, material safety data sheet or something like this. Okay, you have to uh, read them. Number three, you have to mix the caustic soda in mixing chemical barrel, in chemical barrel, not add it directly through the hopper or through the uh, shaker, okay, or through, sorry, the tank, okay? But they are added through chemical barrel. Number D, you have to wear face shield during the mixing. So these are small notes about the caustic soda mixing. Number four question, okay, number four. Mention in details the parameters affecting the whole cleaning. Mention in details the parameters affecting the whole cleaning. Number A, the rheology. The rheology in the vertical hole or the vertical well, you can concentrate on the yield point and take some high vis bill uh, each three connections or something like this. But in directional drilling, You are adding, you are, uh, you are concentrating in the low shear yield point and uses the tandem bells in order to make good hole cleaning. Also, the ROB, you have to decrease the ROB in order to give a chance for the mud to make good hole cleaning. Uh, number C, the RBM, increasing the RBM. It makes mechanical agitation and increases also the viscous coupling, which leads to make good hole cleaning. Also, the flow rate, if you increase the GBM, it will increase the viscous coupling and it will increase the annular velocity and it leads to uh, make good hole cleaning. 
and also increasing the number of bottoms up it makes good hole cleaning so there are five types the areology the rob the rbm the fluorate and the bottom up what is what are the rheological models that we are dealing with actually we are dealing with three main main rheological models they are the bingham plastic model power law model and the modified power law or what's known as harshly bulky model okay number six question what are the flow regime what are the flow regime okay the flow regimes that we are dealing with are four main flow regime the plug flow the laminar flow the transitional flow and turbulent flow and to distinguish between them it depends on something is called the critical velocity and the renal number okay mention the procedures for testing the chloride and lime content in the oil based mud there is no deal no great it is not a great deal about this because we have talked in the testing uh, in the testing so it's not a big deal one milli of the oil base plus 15 milli of the xylene 15 50 milli of isopropyl and 100 milli of distilled water then 10 drops of phenolphthalein and titration with h2so4 and you will get the lime content and after this you then in the same in the same sample you will add 10 drops of potassium chromate which is gives you yellow color and titrate with silver nitrate until it becomes reddish brown and this gives the color mention the procedures for the procedures the procedures okay for the mpt or methyl methyl methylene blue test for the water based mud it is the same issue and we have told all about this there is no uh, need to waste time for it number nine explain the mechanism of the phba polymer encapsulation for the shield actually the phba is an anionic polymer okay or partial hydrolyzed polyacrylamide is anionic polymer and it attaches to the cationic surfaces of the shale because it has positive charges like Na plus for example or something like this and after they are attaching to it the PHA polymer has very high molecular weight so it and but the shale is very small molecular weight okay so that it makes an encapsulation for the cutting okay it makes an encapsulation for the cutting uh, explain the shear thinning phenomena for the XC polymer. At high shear rate, which is at the pit nozzle, for example, the fluid viscosity decreases and it uh, and it, the flow becomes uh, turbulent. Okay, like the water, for example, which agitates the cuttings around the pit. Okay, and then at low shear, like for example, in the annular. The yield increases again in the annulus, so it helps in cleaning the well. Number 11, the gel strength can be classified as flat or progressive. What the flat and the progressive, it depends on the reading between the 10 minutes and the 10 seconds, okay? Uh, number 12, what are the functions of the drilling fluids? Too many functions control the well bore, carry the cutting to the surface, transmit hydraulic horse bar to the bed, minimize fluid filtrage, invasion, cooling, and the protect from the corrosion. Number 13, which is very important question. The differential stuck can occur due to four many reasons and the four must be on the same time, okay? Number A, high overbalance number b high filtrate and thick filter cake number c static condition or stationary drill string this is very important and number four is the permeable zone mention the shell inhibition types of the mud and their mechanism actually number a the kcl polymer which is a cation exchange number b the bhba which is encapsulation the glycol mud cloud point phenomena the silicate precipitation type the salt polymer mud which is osmosis phenomena and the oil based mud which is change in the wettability or change in the faces of the uh, solids and there is another types but these are the main uh, inhibition and we have made already 
one complete uh, complete video about this inhibition video, uh, inhibition types. Okay, number fifteen, the progressive gel, which means the reading between ten second and the reading of the ten minutes are different and they are very large. Okay, the progressive gel can be due to four things. What are the four? Number one, carbonate contamination. Number two, a high MBT. Number three, high solids. Number four, high calcium. Number 16, mention the conditions required for proper operation of the desander. What are the proper conditions of the desander? Okay, number A, operating pressure or in BSI is four multiplied by the mud weight in BPG. Number B, the discharge must be this. Uh, the discharge is, uh, is is spray discharge, not rube. It must be spray discharge, not rube one. Number C, the suction at the apex on the bottom. You must have some suction. If you put your hand, it will be sucked. Okay. Uh, number twelve, what are the procedures to solve the differential stuck problem? Differential stock problem, these are how to solve it. Number A, high flow rate and try with the maximum overball on the drill pipe. Then activate the jarring up or down according to the situation. Number C, bump the stock pill. For example, the by blacks is what, glycol, acid, whatever. And finally, to decrease the overbalance by mud weight and the U tubing phenomenon. Number 18, how can the problem of the bit bowling be solved? Bit bowling, you have to make at first caustic, so caustic bill. Number B, content bill. Number C, high viscosity with nut plug. Number D, high viscosity with calcium carbonate. And the most effective one is the last one, high viscosity with calcium carbonate. Because it makes uh, sand blasting to the surface, okay? Number 19, what are the types of drill string vibrations? Vertical, lateral, and torsional. Number 20, what are the total procedures to clear the loss of circulation? Number A, you will bump LCM bells, okay, with different concentration through the BBL sub. And number B, you have to bump cement plug or cement plug with 2% calcium chloride. Number C, hard plug or soft plugs. Number D is form a plug. The final question is to complete the answers. Number one, this is very important question, and I have made the whole collection of it. Okay, but right, can increase mud weight up to 150 BCF, hematite 187, and calcium carbonate is 110 PCF. Number two, barite has a specific gravity. 4.2 and hematite about 5 calcium carbonate is 2.7 and the low gravity solid is 2.65 number 3 sodium chloride has the maximum weight of 74 or 75 pcf and its maximum salinity is 188000 milligram per liter Number four, the calcium chloride has the maximum weight of 86 BCF and maximum salinity of 333,000 or 334,000, okay? Number five, the potassium chloride has the maximum weight of 73 BCF and the maximum salinity of 134,000, uh, sorry. Number six, which is the last question, Sodium formate has mud weight 10.8 BBG and potassium formate 13.1 BBG and cesium formate is 19.2 BBG. Uh, thank you very much today for this lesson and I hope inshallah we will take another questions in the advanced mother school later inshallah. Thank you very much and see you later inshallah. Goodbye.